She was here in person the last time. Right now she's calling into the show uh, to uh, promote uh, her film that will be in select theaters on digital and on demand starting on July 16th. Uh, Die in a Gunfight, one of the stars of that. Emmanuel Shrieky back here on the show. How are you, Emmanuel? Hello, Rich. How, how, how have you been? <laughs> I was listening to the yep. little snippet, yep. and I'm laughing. I was just laughing my head off. Yes. I always have so much fun with you guys. How are you? Well, I'm hanging in there. We're doing well. We've been on the air pretty much every day throughout all this madness and craziness, and we're, you know, uh, talking sports, having fun. Just that's what we've been up to. How about you? Yeah. Thank goodness. Um, I've been, <clears throat> I've been on location in Vancouver for oh. 10 months. I'm wow. shooting Superman and Lois over here. Mm-hmm. And, um, no, but Rich, I was supposed to be out here for six and a half months and we had two shutdowns. So it turned into 10 months, border mm-hmm. closed. It was truly one of the most challenging experiences of my life. A good experience. I love my cast and my crew, sure. but you know, the, the whole year, I think everybody has some crazy story. Yeah. And, That's and, mine. Again, we, but, uh, you know, last year was um, crazy just talking about life more than anything else. And then sports began to come back and, and uh, there's always movies and yeah. pop culture to talk about. And that actually that we've been having this conversation today uh, because uh, in the world of hockey, um, the uh, uh-huh. Nassau Coliseum, where the Islanders play, and Kevin Connolly, who you know very well, is a diehard Islander fan. Um, <laughs> oh, the, Na- yeah. the Nassau Coliseum yeah. would close down if the the for good if the Islanders lose tonight, and that's where I saw my first concert, <gasps> Chicago, back in 1985. Oh. What was your where, what was your, your first oh. concert, and where was it, Emmanuel Shrieky, that you ever attended? My life. first concert was at Ontario Place in Toronto. Mm-hmm. It was like an outdoor venue. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, it was this band, it's old rock and roll band. I went with my brother called FM. I don't know if you've ever heard of them or no, not. No, I have not. That was like my first concert. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah. my first concert is I, I went Random. there in high school. Um, my dad drove me all the way out from Staten Island to Long Island and I... I went with uh, a classmate of mine who uh, um, I wanted to date, and that did not work out well. She was a hard habit to break, to use the phrase of the one of the songs that we heard that night, Emmanuel. My tale of love. Oh, man. Night. I know. But wait, so so you mean, so now we're, we're waiting to hear what happens with the Coliseum? Yeah, well, the Coliseum is definitely closing down. It's, it- it's done. They're moving to this beautiful place and uh, just right on the border of, of, of New York City and Nassau County. They're moving in there regardless wow. next year. What a trip. I know. And it's uh-huh. and, and if the Islanders... But it's like a piece of history. It is. You know who they would play, the Islanders would play, would be the Montreal Canadiens. Do you have any, like, because you're from, are you from Montreal? Is that is that your hometown or, or no? Yeah, born there. Born, born in there. Montreal, but, yeah, and raised in Toronto. But, uh, you know, I think we've talked about this. I think we've talked about this. Do you know how many times Kevin Connolly has tried to get me to a hockey game? <laughs> and? It has not worked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's never happened. <laughs> but I thought, I thought the fact that you're Canadian means you have to have gone to at least a or want to go to a hockey game. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that have to be part of your... I, you would think. <laughs> but not at all. Huh. BNA, yeah, mm. yeah, no, 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 <laughs> not even the slightest bit. That is something else. Uh, but I mean, listen, I will, I will because I have to at some point. But you know, it's not my first inclination. I much prefer going to a basketball game. Okay, so what was the last uh, sporting event that you've you've been to that you can recall, based on all your hard work and you know and oh. and uh, and being in a. Uh, uh, quarantine and things like that do you remember last time that happened well was it also damn, was it also it in ontario like... <laughs> was it also in no, toronto no, definitely it would have been <laughs> definitely it would have been in la right um and it would but I, I couldn't tell you what a basketball in la for sure at the staples oh, center look at that but Okay. That would be a while ago. Fantastic. A while ago. Emmanuel Shrieky here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. All right, tell me about your film that's coming out in a couple of weeks' time. 
die in a gunfight. Uh, Walk me through so this one. So cool. Yes, die in a gunfight with um with uh, Diego Benetta and Alexandra Daddario uh-huh. and uh, Travis Fimmel. I, you know, it was such a cool experience, Rich. Like this is for me. This is a, a true cameo. Um, the director, uh, Colin Shifley, he had this vision mm-hmm. of um, of my character, and I I had to have so much fun with it. It was this, it was this idea of like go big or go home. So you'll see, I have like this insane blonde wig, and it's kind of awesome. Yeah, we're seeing that. <laughs> and I play opposite. Yeah. The blonde wig, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah we're seeing a photograph uh, of it right cool. up here. I, you know, you try to you see the photograph, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Which is like part of the fun, right? Like reinvent yourself. Um, but it was such it's such a fun, cool sort of romantic action movie, you know, with the likes the little Romeo and Juliet, and it was just so much fun. It was a week in my hometown. Um, Travis and I play this crazy couple. It's so much fun. Travis is such a great actor. Um, and here it is. It's, it's coming out July 16th. July but I 16th. think it'll be like a really, really fun summer movie. Yeah. And it's uh, July 16th in select theaters on digital and on demand. Uh, when you were maybe in quarantine and turning on a television set and saw something from your past, did you? what were you seeing? at all anything from your movies television something that you ran into watching mine yeah, oh here. no rich no 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 what do you mean? i went on the i mean honestly in another conversation we'll do another conversation okay i think i've watched everything that there is to see <laughs> every mayor of east town queen gambit yes. every european television show and movie I've had time. I've had five quarantines, so I've had time. <laughs> so you've you've had a. So what's the best thing that you've seen then? What did you see that uh, that you really liked? Um, I gotta say, right now, yeah. for real, for real, I would say Mayor of East Town blew my mind. You're like the nineteenth person. You're, you're like the nineteenth. Yeah, you're like the nineteenth person to tell me that I have not seen it. I need to see that. I got to sit down. Right? It's like six Rich, episodes. Right. It's, no, you must. Okay. It's yeah, it, and it's 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 a must. And then just recently, two nights ago, I watched The Father with Anthony Hopkins, a movie that he won an Academy Award for. When I tell you he is the master of all masters, mm. that's another one. Like mm. two must see. So the next time we speak, yes. you'll give me the lowdown. <laughs> okay, I, I will do that. I mean, it's just. You know, it's I'm, yeah. I'm I am more um, apt to see something that's a little bit lighter fare these days. You know what I mean? Like I just I binge watch mm. Shit's Creek in about five minutes. You know, and um, and <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I that's the sort of thing that I'm into. I guess the yeah. the deepest thing that I saw was Queen's Gambit, which was terrific. That was amazing. You know, I did see it that. Wasn't it? Oh yeah. Terrific. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, maybe. Okay, so how about like mm. have your summer light fun, yep. and then when you feel like you know maybe going just a little deeper, yes. <laughs> you'll check those out. Fantastic. And then I'll watch Die in a Gunfight in select theaters on digital and on demand on July sixteenth. Yes. That's what I will do. Perfect. Emmanuel, thanks for the call. You we, we miss next time you just got to come in here Thank and you. you know uh my my sound guy who came up with the idea <laughs> of flying you to to Catalina is not here today uh and he's so crestfallen. He's so so upset about please, that. Send my regards. Send my regards. <laughs> you know what? I I'm, I'm not going to do that because <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> man, don't do that. You know what? I'm upset that he's not here today and so um he doesn't deserve this. You regards. know, you're you know, you're you're too nice to for me to drag you into uh, our problem. Problems, but uh, <laughs> I'll let him know you were on. That's what I will do. You're hilarious. I would love that. Thank you. Take you, care. It's always such a pleasure to speak with you. Same and I'll to you. See you soon. Same to you. That's Emmanuel Shriek. He okay. died in a gunfight. Everybody, check that out. Coming up in just a few weeks' time. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.